Hello and welcome to this tutorial video where we're going to take a look at how to use the new customizable scripts for importing stretch sense data that we've launched with Shogun Post 1.8. Now hands and fingers have always presented a unique challenge to motion capture. Long term Vicon users, game artists and animators will no doubt recall the days when completely flat palms were as good as they could ever hope to get. Today we're spoiled with a variety of solutions that facilitate the capture of high quality finger data including our own solution in Shogun Live. Stretch Sense gloves are one such solution and with Shogun Post 1.8 we wanted to respond to the direct requests from customers to better support the integration of Stretch Sense data with their full body skeleton. Now capturing data with Hand Engine isn't something we will be covering here. If you are a new Stretch Sense user, we strongly advise visiting their website or YouTube channel where you'll find a variety of high quality educational materials. For now, let's focus on using the script packaged with Shogun 1.8 to import and merge our data from Hand Engine. Now, in this scenario, the folder created by Hand Engine, which stores our hand files, will have the same name as the take in Shogun. It's important that the performer name saved in the hand FBX is the same as the subject name in Shogun. We load the import stretch sense FBX file script into the script editor in Shogun Post and execute. This script can be found within the scripts folder of our Shogun installation. And there we have it. The hands have been imported and merged straight to our Vicon skeleton. Now this whole process was handled automatically because the hand FBX files are saved in a subfolder of the open take and because the folder name is the same as the take name. But let's just say that for whatever reason this isn't an option and your hand data is stored in a different path. Not a problem. In this case when the script runs we will be prompted to browse to the location of our stretch sense data. We simply select the files in question and once again they are imported and merged nice and quickly. We are extremely excited to see how our customers make use of this new integration and we encourage everyone to share their feedback by adding a comment below or emailing our support team directly. Thank you for watching and to the studios whose input and feedback has helped us shape this initial implementation of support for StretchSense and of course a sincere thanks goes to the StretchSense team themselves who helped us with development. Thanks again.